You want to know a fun fact about the fifth season by N.K. Jemison? Something that will tell you whether it is worth reading or something you will enjoy before I even describe the book to you and what I thought of it. These three books, all three in this trilogy, won the Hugo Award the year they were published, which has never been achieved by any other author ever. Which just goes to show you that it doesn't matter what I think of this book, doesn't matter how I review it, you might love this book if you are like everybody else. But spoiler alert, I did also happen to love this book. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. This is a really, really interesting, different, unique, well-written fantasy sci-fi. It's actually, I think, sci-fantasy story. And it's not like anything I've read before in a really, really good way. The fifth season is set in a high fantasy world where there are catastrophic weather seasons that can destroy the world and wipe out humanity. They can stick around for up to hundreds of years and people have to survive it. And only one town has ever continually survived it. And that is where the magic comes into play because the, there are some people in this world who have the ability to not, maybe not stop it. We don't learn that in the first book, but they have the ability to control elements of the earth. Kind of a little bit like Avatar The Last Airbender with earth bending, but you're not picking up the earth and shooting it at people. More, you can sense tremors in the distance and quell them. And you can feel the weather. You can feel different things. You can sense the earth and you have some level of control. But because this is such a powerful magic, and it is powerful, and you will see that, it is devastating and catastrophic and can be wielded for evil. But this power is something that can save humanity, and yet people are so afraid of this magic and these people, they are called origines. People are so scared of these origines that they are outcasted from the very moment people know they exist. Their parents, when they figure out that they are origines, often want to give them away, send them away, or even kill them. They are often used in brutal, awful ways because they are so outcasted and they have so much power. And this story explores all of that, all the elements of this magic, so well. The inner conundrums, how it affects your mind, how you can just have one lapse of focus and lash out and that cause unbelievable damage to the people around you. And you can kill many people in seconds because it is just so strong, which is why people are scared of it. But they're scared of the very same people who can help them from destruction. A really good interesting balance and it's what made this magic and this story in this really dark gritty world just so encapsulating, so engaging, and so intriguing. Now for me as a reader, someone who loves magic and world building and characters as well as plot, I think that N.K. Jemisin executed all of those elements beautifully and brilliantly and yet so uniquely. The vibe and tone and feeling and atmosphere in this book felt quite unique. Even the delivery and the writing style was so different to what I'm used to. In fact, one of the three main characters that we follow is actually told in the second person. And if you don't know what the second person is, it's things like, you walked over to the campfire. This person talked at you. Your hair was up this day. You were in a bad mood. That's something that is pretty rare in books. And I thought it was brilliant. If someone told me beforehand, the second person, you know, it's written in second person for parts of this book, I would have thought, oh, I don't like the sound of that at all. But it was amazing. And it took a little while to get used to. And not everyone's going to love it right from the start. But there's no doubt that it grew on me and grew on me. And it allowed me to sort of almost feel this character from an outer body experience. Like I was looking down on this character, watching them interact with this world. And I knew it was me, but I knew it wasn't me because I'm you in the second person. So I knew this character was meant to be me. I was meant to be seeing it through that person's eyes, but I was watching it from an out of body experience. And it was amazing. It grew on me so much and I did not think it would. One thing I do want to say, and you have to be aware of this before reading this book, just in case you will be triggered while reading it. This is a very dark book, much darker than I expected. I wouldn't say it's grim dark, but there are elements of darkness like that 
in there. There is sexual abuse, there is violence, there is physical abuse, there is abuse of young people. There is a lot of trigger warnings and I'd look them up before you read the book because it is devastating. But it's devastating in a really good way. Yeah, there are some whoa moments where you have to really step back and think, what in the world is going on there? That is harsh. But if you can handle all that, I think it makes the story a lot more believable and a lot more gritty. It gives a lot more depth to these characters and how devastating this landscape really is because this is very apocalyptic style book. It feels very much like we are on the brink of complete devastation. And what Jemison did really, really well was everything she did that was, that was brutal packed a punch. It was kind of like Bang! Take that! And she didn't dwell on it. She didn't keep going back and, and flowering it up. And she didn't make it uh, very, very um, wordy. She just hit you in the face and then moved on and just left you to dwell and be like, whoa, what did I just read? Like, what just happened? And how are we moving on from that so quickly? Which I thought was really impactful. I thought that was incredibly well delivered. Another really big props for this story was the characterizations. And not just the characterizations, and, and these characters were amazing, but also how they interacted with the world and the magic. It was just a really well-struck balance. We really got to know these characters that were in different age groups. All three of the main characters we follow are women at different phases of their lives, going through different different circumstances and it was really really well told and it allowed me to feel very much like I understood the motivations of these three women and that made their characters really believable and really gritty and well told. We are following people who we can relate to in a really interesting intricate way and I thought that that really improved the story because it tied in so well with the magic because we knew how they would interact and we knew what they were like and we knew their motivations and their morals and ethics and yet we see them go through this crazy difficult terrain and difficult life experiences and we're following them along on that journey and that's what made their characters so gripping for me. Even the bad guy had a really subtle but really fun, intriguing and interesting element in this story. It definitely had its place, but he wasn't he wasn't super prominent. It was kind of like Oh, by the way, I'm here and I'm relevant and I'll be relevant later. You better believe that. And I liked that. I liked that it wasn't thrown down our throat and we were left with a little bit of intrigue. That was well handled as well. One thing to note is this story does move fairly slowly. It's not slow and boring and laborious. It's really, really good, interesting, intricate and fun and intriguing. But it is a bit of a slow build because it is mostly character focus. And we are learning a lot about this world and this magic through these characters' eyes as we progress through this story. So it's just something to know. If you like a really fast paced book, this is definitely not going to be that. It's more of a slow burn, but it's a really satisfying one. We're also largely just thrown into the deep end and are following alongside our characters, which sometimes is really, really fun. And sometimes I get frustrated thinking, come on, let's get to the story. Let's learn more. I want to know where we're headed. Whereas in this book, you don't get that. You're learning as you go following these characters. But I thought it actually did a service to this story because this story and world is mostly built around intrigue. Now, one thing that I feel obligated to point out is that this story does not have a satisfying ending. There are a lot of open-ended questions. We don't know everything that's going on. There are a lot of things that need explaining and you're not going to feel like, oh, I can read that as a standalone and be satisfied. You'll need to read the rest of the series, which for me is absolutely fine. But I know some people really like a story to have a more satisfying ending. This one doesn't have an unsatisfying ending. It just leads you into the next story. So you can't read it as a standalone. Something just to be aware of. All in all, this was a really unique story with a really unique writing style. It was a very intriguing, fun adventure. I loved the darkness. I loved the magic. I loved the world. And overall, I really enjoyed this book. And I think it will have a very broad appeal. I think most people are probably going to enjoy this story and the way it's told, even though it is different to the traditional fantasy book that you would read. But it has all the right elements. It has a great characterizations. It has great magic, great world building. The plot is absolutely fine. The bad guy's interesting enough. It just does so much right that I'd be confident recommending it to most people. And I certainly, certainly 
really, really enjoyed and appreciated it. Guys and gals, I've only been on BookTube for a little while, so please help me grow this channel. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe and see more from me, please do that. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this book. Let me know if this is the sort of book that sounds up your alley and if you're willing to give that writing style a try. And I'll catch you next time. See ya!